This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Well, despite the high gas prices, millions of Americans are planning to pack up the car and head out on the road for a family road trip. And from packing the car to making sure the kids are happy during that trip, our next guest has some simple car trip tips to make sure your trip is a smooth one. Karen Davis is a State Farm agent in Salisbury and joins us this afternoon. Karen, you know, it really comes down to planning when you're heading out on the road with a family, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, and starting the planning process is getting the car packed properly. Right. There's um, a right way and a wrong way. That's exactly right. We're going we're gonna to work on that today <laughs> and, and show how to maybe properly pack the vehicle. Now we have an SUV here, so there's a nice compartment in the back for everything to go into. There, there is, and if you're if you're not in an SUV, you can pack everything in the trunk. Main thing is, is you want to make sure things are safe and secure. Things like balls that we're going to need when we're on vacation. Mm -hmm. You don't want these flying around in the car um, while you're driving, so we want to put these back here in the back um, to make sure that they're not going to be doing that. And then also, there is a luggage carrier cover back here that will protect things from flying. Flying objects in a car is, is a major way for head injuries and broken arms and those kinds of things to happen. So this will help protect that um, from occurring. If you don't have a car cover, um, there's nets that are available that you can use to strap things down. Right. And also um, putting things in a trunk. Um, you just don't want things to be in the car that can cause injuries. Right, you don't want things packed in the middle between the seats and everything. Absolutely, and you also want to keep the, again, the flying object possibilities away from the kids because they could get bored yeah. as they're driving down the road. So. <laughs> Absolutely, it <laughs> happens. Okay, so summertime is a time when um, our car is really take a beating as far as the engine so you want to make sure that it's ready for the road trip right? yes absolutely and some of the things that you want it to do um, is to check tire pressure mm -hmm. make sure that that is um, that is at standards I suggest um, and recommendations are to go to your local mechanic check the oil the air conditioning unit it's going to be very hot you know these hundred degree days it's a it's a strain on the engine and, and the air conditioning system um, also, windshield wiper fluid is a huge um, thing to make sure you have enough of. Sun glare is a leading cause in accidents. Hmm. So you want to be sure that you have clean windows um, uh, while, while you're on the trip. And wiper blades as well. Absolutely. Make sure that they are not ripped or torn or are going to cause you problems if you're in a heavy rainstorm. Right, Absolutely. right. So get the whole car checked out. It's always nice to take it to a dealer or somebody to get yep. that done. Whoever your mechanic is, have right. them take a look at it and, and just be sure that you're ready to get on the road. All right. Well, gone are the days when we take that paper map, you know, the one that nobody can fold back Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Uh, we're using GPS now, and that's yes. really something handy for a road trip, isn't it? It is. Um, you know, I say that our kids today aren't going to know how to read the maps because we don't have those any longer. But having the GPS on the trip, um, if you do get lost, we've all heard those words recalculating. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, it's going to get you back on track. Um, so, you know, alleviate some frustration. A couple recommendations is have the coordinates set in the GPS before you leave home. Um, know a little bit about the area that you're going to be traveling through so that you can set a plan maybe for restaurants. And this is a great source um, to be able to look at this and pull up local things to do, restaurants that are available, and have someone in the car that can help you navigate the GPS because you definitely do not want to be driving and have to worry about um, Taking looking your at eyes this. off the road. Absolutely. Right, right. Absolutely. And speaking of restaurants, you know, when we go on a road trip, my kids think that it's a ticket to all the fast food restaurants along the highway. But right. that can get expensive and unhealthy. It can. Um, so some great tips for that. Um, one of the things that we recommend is packing a cooler. Um, that way we can do um, the waters and the fruits and the vegetables and make pack sandwiches, those kinds of things. Some nice. tips for if you are going to eat out on the road, um, look for places that have free kids days. Lots of places have meals, you know, on Wednesdays kids eat free, those kinds of things. Also, um, if you're staying at a hotel, look for hotels that have free breakfast. Just helps save on cost and that's money you can use to actually enjoy the vacation instead of worried about eating. Absolutely. So. All right, so you have kids, you know this. You get 20 miles down the road and you hear, are we there yet? Yes. It's really important to have a plan to keep the kids engaged and busy during the trip, isn't it? It is, and you're lucky if you get 20 miles down the road. <laughs> My experience is less than that. So um, obviously now in the world of technology, we have um, DVD players that we can set up in the car. Um, we also have, you know, the iP iPads and the, the, the Game Boys and those kinds of things. Some fun things to do other than electronics. One is 
playing the electronics out because they even do get bored with that. Mm -hmm. um, but then also think about some of the games we played as when we were children, um, spotting license plates and having a scavenger hunt while you're driving down the road yeah. and, and those kinds of things. So that's that's some fun things to kind of throw in. Okay, and sometimes we just don't even bother with our car. You rent a car to take on vacation. What are some tips to, for that? Well, there's several things. One is you want to first check um, with your insurance and make sure that you have proper coverage that will carry over to the rental car. You don't want to pay for unneeded or spend unneeded money unnecessarily to get insurance if your insurance is going to provide that protection. So check with your insurance company. Um, also, you want to, when you go to get the car, look at the size. You want to be sure that it's going to be big enough. I know we all pack neatly, which we yeah. just did getting there. Things seem to expand on the way home. Sure. So make sure that you ha you're going to have enough room to actually enjoy and be comfortable. Um, and then do a really nice walk around the car before you leave um, the parking lot with the rental. You don't want to be um, caused or you don't want to be accused of creating right. damage that possibly was already there. All right. Karen so. Davis, State Farm agent in Salisbury, thank you so much. All good information when you're heading out on your road trip this summer. And if you'd like more information on anything we talked about and more information on State Farm Insurance, go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Click on the show tab located on the left side of the page. Jimmy, 